How's it going everyone? Hope you're doing well. Vito Safe for to hear with another deck review today. We're looking at a prototype uh, from playing card decks. It is the Eclipse comic. Playing cards, which uh, it says on the bottom, is the first transformation deck printed in the USA. But it doesn't seem that it was printed by one of the bigger name companies. Being that it says here, uh, FH Slower. Open copyright. I don't know. Don't know. But uh, there's your back design. How's it going, everyone? Hope you're all doing well, despite everything that's going on today. We're looking at, from Playing Card Decks, the Eclipse Comic Decks. And I'll probably be looking at the prototype one in green at the same time. So let's check them all out. Alright, so this is the Eclipse Comic Playing Cards from PlayingCardDecks.com, who are always having sales. So go make sure to check them out. Use the link in the description. You'll save some money. Unless you've already done so before, I think it's a one-time thing, but if you haven't, definitely do it. <laughs> um, these are the Eclipse, they're based on some vintage decks, it's a reprint, basically. Uh, this is a prototype that he printed a few months ago, maybe last year already, I don't even recall. It's, I apologize for not getting to it sooner. And these are the actual decks, they're all printed by NPC. This one's green, obviously blue and red, so it's Eclipse Comic Playing Cards on the front and it also says copyright 1876 by F.H. I believe. To the side you get some artwork and pips and see at the other side top uh, more of the same incidentally the green one the prototype is different and these ones actually say sold everywhere or well, this one does not but the artwork is different, at least on the top. The bottom is also a bit different. This one just says, by playing called Dex, it says Prototype 2019. The first transformation deck printed in the USA. And these ones actually have the logo. And it says it's made in PRC. They're, they're all made in China by MPC. You can see that the prototype is actually thicker. Then these ones, they have a thinner stock, obviously. And the backs, you see the back design, all the same, just a different color. Very nice. And you get a replica stamp seal. So let's look at the prototype first. And the flap, this here is designed by Azared Ox, or at least, uh, you know, polished by him. And you get the basically the same thing in the other one. Surprisingly enough, they did not do a Kickstarter for these or print them for USB-C, but I, you know, still happy with them. And the little artwork on the flaps. This one, it's different. As you can see, just a bit. The red and blue are the same. So let's look at the cards here. For the green one. You get this Joker guy, and then another one in bluest color, same thing. The back, pretty simple, very nice. Simple, classic looking, vintage, obviously. And then you get kind of an ad card, to buy the Eclipse comic playing cards, sold everywhere. And then you get this, what I believe is the Ace of Spades, Eclipse comic playing cards. And then we get to the rest of the cards, this is the Ace of Hearts. Of clubs, Ace of Diamonds. It's a transformation deck, as you can see. It's also a um, feral style deck with no indexes, which is obviously very vintage style. And then we get into the rest of the cards. These are the court cards. They got a figure with a pip in the corner. It's a little bit hard to determine which is the jack, which is the king. Obviously, the queen is kind of easy to identify because it's a female. <laughs> um, I believe. So. So those are the code cards. And then you get to the number cards. Again, transformation style. I'll quickly go through them. I'll just kind of try to go through them kind of quickly here. 
that I'll make the video 15 minutes long. Very nice, very interesting. Obviously, this is the same artwork as the original. And obviously, all three decks are going to have the same artwork, at least as far as I'm aware. So, yeah, very nice, very interesting. I'll just show you the other ones quickly. It's the red one. Get the same thing, the jokers and the ad card, except for the color on the jokers has been changed to red and blue as opposed to blue and green. Oop, I almost lost all the cards. We don't want to do that. <laughs> um, but you get the same little jokers, same back design. The same little kind of ad card. And then everything else is also the same. It is a different finish in stock. I can see the linen embossing. I believe the art because, yeah, it's all the same. I'm just trying to find the Ace of Spades. There it is. Same, but in red. And then the blue one, of course, is going to be the same, except in green. Uh, I mean, uh, blue. <laughs> But the uh, same jokers, apparently I misplaced one, that's odd, same ad card, hmm, just realized the king of spades is the same as the ad card, I assume that's the king, maybe it's the jack, but it's the same as the ad card. Uh -huh. There's the Ace of Spades. And where is the other Joker figure? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's mixed up in somewhere. That's odd. Hmm. Oh well, I'll find it eventually. Um, but they're a good stock and finish, these ones. I believe it's the same as like the, the beta decks have from NPC. The nice, almost USB-C like stock and finish. The handle's pretty good. The green one is obviously a thicker stock. It's not quite as good. I mean, it's fine. It's a good stock, but it is definitely thicker, noticeably. But still, a linen finish. Actually, no, it's not. I, I lied. It's a smooth finish for these decks. The green one, the prototype. And the blue and red is a embossed linen finish on a much thinner kind of crust stock, as you can see. So, overall, very nice decks. I like them. I like the back design and everything else. And solid A plus for me. Go check them out. PlayingCardDecks.com. Link in the description. As I might have mentioned earlier, and you can save some money by doing that. And make sure you check out all of the sales as well that they routinely have. So comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you think. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.